So another quick video about my um, last post, my last blog post. And it's now going to be about things that I'm interested in and I want to talk about. So those of you who always tell me, what does this have to do with being Irish negative? Get out of my face, I swear by God, I don't need to hear from you. I don't need to know of your existence. I don't need to read about how bad my audio is. I'm making this videos for people who are interested in them, for people who have more questions than answers. Judge a man by his questions. This is for the few of you. That's why I'm constantly eliminating comments because I'm simply not interested in them. I'm interested in the comments from people who use their minds, people. So if you are one of those people that just goes randomly across anywhere, doesn't care if you find out information or just talk because you're bored, get the hell out of my face. Go to CNN.com and talk about how your day was. So for the rest of you, thank you for watching. Feel free to leave me a comment. If you cannot leave me a comment on YouTube, please do so on my blog. You have a voice, use it. And I swear by God, even though once in a while, okay, I made a rule, I want people to use their own name. Very important. However, why did I make the rule? I made the rule because people are cowards. And the moment people don't use their real name, they tend to be extremely brave. They say a lot of racist, a lot of hateful, a lot of um, misleading things. They make claims that are obviously false. And I really don't think that I want to bother my readers to sift through that. You see, I know how painful it is for me to look through all this crap, to find the good comments, and they are there. And I found some great people here and there randomly who have been actually leaving me comments that I've overlooked previously. Because when I look at the IP address, I can see the other comments that were sent from the same location. And then I recognize also some of them actually left me wonderful comments, but they didn't use their real name, right? They used anonymous. So, or something like that. Well, a couple of them I approved here and there because I realized, okay, I cannot demand that you, I will play this by ear, but don't worry. I'm going to use that in case of doubt. If a comment ever leaves me doubt, like what is the validity or if it's if you don't use your name not doing it if you do okay then i think you're standing by your comment but again this is all a play by ear thing i'm making these videos now to help you understand certain things and to be honest with you i just remembered what it is i wanted to talk about and that is about a new blog post i'm going to make and this time i'm not going to even source anything. I have a habit of doing that because I always want to make sure uh, people don't have to leave my site and go to Wikipedia or something and click around until, you know, I want to now work a little bit more on giving you guys the introduction into the subject matters that I'm interested in. And so my upcoming post will be called, Can Arch Negative Solve Criminal Cases Via Psychic Intuition? So... I would like to read to you what I have just written because it's pretty short and I don't like to, you know, formulate things. Okay, as we are often mention intuition, I'm curious as to how exactly you became alert of your own intuition and more than anything, have you, have, how you have used it in the past. I'm interested in that. I'm interested in something where um well let me say it like this i don't uh recently on my on date by type blood type dating site date by type.com i saw you know sometimes what i do uh i don't have that much time but i do because there have been cases of uh people you know duplicate accounts that's one thing I don't allow. I think it's very cowardly and there is absolutely no reason to have a duplicate account unless you really forgot your password and you no longer have access to the email. It can happen that you had a work email and 
you no longer work there. That's very, very possible. I had these situations happen, right? So I know what it's like when people like, hey, dude, you don't reply to your emails, do you? No. Why didn't you hit me up on Facebook before you email me? Who's doing email these days unless it's a legal document and some, you know what I'm saying? Or there needs to be a file attached or anything like that. So I am very much aware of a lot of things that I don't talk about, right? And I don't want to talk about anything actually unless I consider it important but the real reason is that i want you to help me and answer things for me that's how i always approached video making not me teaching you something i can share with you what i've learned and i can also point out directions where i say but the real research has to be you and if i happen to make a post that really enlightens you tell me about it leave me a comment you need to Mm, 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 mm. I know of cases where psychics were used by police and usually they deliver nothing but from time to time one I don't know what I wrote here <laughs> from time to time someone tips off the police in ways that actually make me consider the possibility that they are intuitive people who just managed to develop stick to make an income clarification those people i see on tv the psychics they're not psychics or at least what they are doing is not psychic work or spiritual work or intuitive work however i do consider the possibility that some of the people who make a living with this nonsense actually have intuition strong intuition i also believe that can be developed and i believe that if you have this kind of field you're in uh, you're getting a hang of it so let's say you are a so-called what's it called psychic detective okay the cops keep calling you or here and there and you say well i'm gonna either do it cheap or i'm gonna do it for free because hey what if i get it right what a promotion oh my god so um, yes, there have been cases, and I'm not sure if I'm going to share. You can look them up yourself. There have been a few cases where psychics, um, let me say it like this. I believe that there are intuitive people who have early in life developed an understanding of what it is they are able to do. Maybe they left a comment. Maybe there's a case, a criminal case. And they see it on TV and they say, Mom, this guy, it's the uncle, it's the cousin, or so, it's the uncle. He did it. Something like that, randomly. And then it turns out, oh my God. So, huh. Then they watch TV with their friends and they somehow something that doesn't come hasn't come out yet they just know they just kind of sense it so they get a reputation for being psychic right because people don't intuitive sounds too boring intuitive doesn't sound claimful enough because the way you get attention is with certain keywords i don't get attention with the word intuitive unless i use the word psychic in the title nobody watches it trust me and don't say for a second oh my god uh well us arch negatives we are more no 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 it's the same thing arch negatives or arch positives okay because i don't have a lot of arch positive listeners and readers and i thank you guys now i apologize i've uh, taken off fire toner come a while ago because simply well i have my own personal reasons for that uh, i do regret it to an extent um yeah I uh, had Firetown.com basically for the reason that I was talking about current cases, current anything, anything. And I may now start another blog, but it's probably going to be, well, I'm going to link to it from Firetown.com, you know, and send uh, instead of it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And what I'm going to write about are just a lot of criminal cases that I feel 
I sort of could sense the direction which to go in. So let me tell you something like this. I uh, have to be very, very careful now because of um, possible legalities. This is only for entertainment purposes. The one thing in the Summer Wells case that I strongly suspect and that I've been looking at, I cannot say for legal reasons because of okay the more I talk now I cannot even get into the there's a reason that a certain person's statement is not openly analyzed so that is something I've brought to people's attention in private um, the nonsense with the abduction thing, you know, but there is an avenue. Okay, this is first of all, it's it's normally to me what intuition also has helped me, or what I believe intuition can help you to do, is eliminate the wrong roads. You understand what I mean? The wrong roads. Meaning, you have somebody tell you a story and you don't know what the real story is but you know this is not it because you just sense that there is deception what you pick up on is a negative energy a deceptive energy you pick up on the intention you know clean intentions when you feel them from people and actually it's very rare that I feel clean intentions from people. But when I do, I'm totally appreciative and I don't remember even how I ever allowed myself to be sidetracked by, wow, and how wrong I was about so many. I mean, looking back at my life, I do so in horror, absolute horror. It's a lot easier <coughs> to stay on one level and not really let yourself um, be burdened by the mind-changing enlightenment or openness or what you ever, whatever you want to call it. I'm very happy, by the way, this video seems to turn out pretty good. And this is because, you know what, <laughs> I just decided to try to write on my own. There are many subject matters I've been avoiding people. I've been avoiding them because I don't find the words even though me and you sometimes communicate and exchange and it's just, there isn't really a need for words. But it's a different story if you talk to many, many people. And I see that thousands of people read, you know, these posts, these types of posts. Maybe tens of thousands over the time. I hope it's going to be a lot more soon. Um, as I will do my best to, uh, you know, unbiased, be very, very unbiased. But, because let me tell you something. I have told you guys already the whole so so the, the psychic business mm, I don't even want to get into that I swear by God however I can tell you that I know people with whom I've exchanged thoughts and I was surprised how so many of them have been able to tune into the same path that I was looking at when it came to just about any problem while everybody was looking into a whole different direction. Or they pointed something out to me. Oh my God, that's it. Or I pointed something out to them and they said, oh my God, that's it. Wow, holy crap, this is simple, right? I've had it many, many times. Either way, since many of you have made this claim, I would like to know if you are drawn to criminal cases and oftentimes know to some degree what took place while the majority just seems baffled okay or they are making wrong either totally wrong guesses or what you also see often they focus on the obvious they say well i think it was an abduction because uh, i mean come on the dogs and the property this and that and then they talk about this for okay okay we got it 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 so what do we focus on you see you don't do any what do we focus on then why don't you share that with me right that's not intuition i believe if you use your mind to 
put two and two together in one direction. That's that's an educated guess, but it's not a uh, not an intuitive um, signal, if you will. So I said I personally believe that the summer virus case is nothing like what the majority of the public searching for her likely believes. Hey, I've told you guys before. I've said it. Um, I can't. There is. You will understand why this one person uh, statement um, cannot be publicly analyzed. But the statement analysis, huge red flags and really creepy red flags, really horrible ones. Okay. The reason why I'm not going to get into either because then you know who I'm talking about, right? Okay, I'm reading some of the messages I'm getting, mainly on Twitter, also comments to my blog. You know, I uh, like to be very flexible, but I also like to hear from all of you what's on your minds. I'm very curious because so many of you are holding back and you know what, you can also, let me tell you this, I don't know if you can delete your own comments on my blog, but the, if you have never, you can also leave a comment and say, please don't publish this. Some get approved, some don't, but if you have never commented before, I don't think, I think that's an, you can, uh, no, I don't want to do this, too much work. Twitter is the best way. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, but my Twitter at Reasers Negatives or at Firetown, you can hit me up there. I'll be more than happy. Well, I'll be, it depends. I mean, the reason if I don't get to anything or if I don't reply, mm, if I don't reply to you, the reason is really that I am sifting through a crap load of stupid stuff. People sending me videos of UFOs and all this nonsense, right? I get bombarded by it. I have been for 10 years. So I have this special email for, <coughs> but the, now it's not a special email. It's just an email I never really check unless I have, uh, I do once in a while. And when it comes to intuition also, it's really, really weird where I sometimes just know something is in then when I have that urge, sure enough, the first email on top is something that really, really stands out. And it's, a, it's, it's something very important or somebody I haven't seen in a long time, somebody, you see, because I didn't anticipate to have to go through all of this when I started all of this. So I had a lot of stuff that I had to figure out and to fix. But then I'm thinking, wow, I wonder what else I missed. I look, and even if for three months I didn't check it, I'm like... Wow, oh, there's nothing else I missed. It's all nonsense. But the time I log in, do you have these moments? Now, this is what I talk about intuition. Now, I can say to you guys, I'm psychic. No, it's not that. It's not an action. It's really about, it's coming to you. Intuition comes to you. I believe, I mean, in my case, it's like that. It comes when it comes. It's not something I can control. So, yes, I had... But I have to also tell you, I had moments where I, as a kid, thought, wow, yes, I have a psychic gift because I didn't know what else to call it. And there was a football game, a soccer game. And I remember one of my friends said, well, what's it going to be? And I am serious. Three, two was what popped into my head immediately. It popped in there. But it was not an expected kind of result. It was something that one team was expected to win. The other team, not the winning team, but the other team was expected to win very, very high. It was not a likely thing. So I said, oh my God, I don't want to ridic ridicule myself. I don't want to look like an idiot. I don't. So <clears throat> I said, yeah, 4-1 for the other team. Even though 3-2 for the 
other other team. It came true exactly that. And I had a few things. I had much more important things than that happening. But I'm talking about. And I don't know where this comes from. What it, I, I, I will tell you something right now. I believe we pick up on energies all over the world. Energy moves. Energy doesn't stand still. Right. I'm not saying this to, to... I know I have witnessed other people having really strong intuition and in significant ways. So this is not something... I know, for example, now, when you deal with the regular public and you go into a group called Empaths on Reddit, you have all of these people who claim all types of things. They don't understand what empathy really is. It's just something that happens. You just feel, you know. It's not something you learn. Um, these people, whenever somebody is really sharing something important, those who are becoming popular via banalities get very angry and they feel very threatened and they want to attack these people. <coughs> so I understand your hesitance. I strongly understand, I definitely understand your hesitance when it comes to speaking up, allowing yourself fearfully, fearlessly to just open up. What if, you know, this is really... Uh, and I also know people who have associated it with a religious sort of um, package. And I do believe that there are people, you know, who credit a religious figure with certain uh, abilities, which is intuition that they have. But I do strongly believe that there are people who um, in all walks of life just see through it you know the majority of people I, I earlier talked about how you know it's the, my um, video called only humans humans are the only species waking up the children in the middle of their sleep you know from the very early your cycle is interrupted from a very early age people are so lost Especially the more disciplined the society, disciplined, the more lost the people seem to be. The more they seem to be neurotic and confused and full of um, anxiety and really unable to live, if you will. You understand what I mean? I mean completely unable to um, focus on how to present themselves how to live up to a certain thing that we, I believe, I don't, you see, I had, it doesn't, I don't see myself as a different person depending on the things that people value. I just don't. I just don't. I was, I, and I never did. And my mom told me from an early age, well, this is just how the world is, get used to it. And I said, no, this is not the attitude I want to have. You know, my mom's a negative like me, but she's sort of like, well, don't make things harder than they are by going against, you know. And maybe that's why in my whole life I was like going against that and didn't listen to people who actually meant well, who shared with me experiences that were very, very valid. I thank you guys. And I also apologize to you because I know how it hurts me, how it, not hurts, but how, yeah, it pisses me off when somebody that is wasting my time and they never give me anything of value, right? And I'm so sorry if I sound arrogant now. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about some people who would, in the past, that was years ago, have hit me up all day with stuff. But why? Because they didn't do any of that where I, when I shared, they were against this end. But that, what I found out then, they were actually talking at my back because they were too scared to follow something that doesn't align with what they were tra with the, what they were raised and conditioned to do and believe right so they kind of said oh mike he's so oh my god and what do you and, and so they were like being it was a really weird thing so i said huh you know i'm not gonna do that anymore um there don't waste my energy if you want the, the good energy travels when you block energy and i don't really know if it's all about 
good energy versus bad energy or if it's just energy versus no energy because when there's no energy then your mind comes and all the garbage from the mind comes out and there's no more path when people don't see the path they stop walking or they are banging their heads against the walls on the side last but not least i am curious as to what if any cases some of you are paying attention to and which theories you have and why and this is important to me i am so curious and again this will be an exception i will put on my blog um i will put this up on my blog and i will link or just go to resusnegative.net and uh, search for the same title like this video the title of this video when you do so you'll basically just be able to read the post i've just read to you and in addition a video and maybe i will add more videos later as you have maybe noticed sometimes you get your notifications from my subscript from your subscriptions to my blog and it's a very short email if you happen to click on it you will see a very long post that's because i like to post as soon as i know i have enough and i'm done but am i done suddenly i realize there is so much more i can always make a part two well from now maybe i'm going to start making these part twos but this is a beautiful post it's going to be gorgeous with your upcoming comments so i thank all of you very very much for watching me my name is still mike the man and you can see me on racesnegative.net please subscribe if you're up for it to my channel and my blog <laughs> and i will keep you updated and feel free to tell me not what you don't like, but what you would be interested in hearing more about.